Hello. Hi, Minu Jus. I'm a teacher in Chumma Madrid School, Kolab Light in Brunei Darussalam. In our video, we showcase our students' ideas on waste management in reducing river waste and to improve our environment. I just read a news article recently and it talked about how they collected 440 kilograms of trash in a day. Just crazy! Yeah, it really is. Wait, but isn't it normal that they have people to collect all this trash? I mean, yeah, but like, isn't there a better solution? I mean, not every day they are voluntary. Yeah, and it's also dangerous for the people since there's like crocodiles and all that, right? Yeah, but 440 kilograms a day? That's nuts! Exactly. Yeah, it really is. It's nuts. Wait, I think I might be onto something. How about we create a system that can collect waste automatically so that we don't need to put the people at risk? That's a great idea. We can make millions! Yeah. Why do you think about the money? Okay, there are people suffering from this and we need to make a more sustainable system for this. We need a device. Okay, we were talking about a system, right? How are we going to create this? Hmm. So guys, my idea is to create an array of rotating devices called swirlers that are placed across the river that collect waste. Then how do boats pass through? What about trash or locks that block the system? Hmm. Oh, we can just put it at the sides of the river so that it won't obstruct the path. If that's the case, then the chest isn't fully caught. We can put it on an angle so that the trash can move to the collection area. Each swirler has a bottom part which is fitted with blades which uses water current to rotate. As it rotates, the top part also turns and the flaps at its sides collect the waste and moves it to the next swirler's area. So, how does it work? One swirler is connected to the next using hooks and rods and it is modular. It also has LED lights fitted on the top for night users which is powered using solar panels. One end of the array is fixed to the riverbank and the other is anchored to the riverbed. And so, it does not obstruct any aquatic life. The collected waste can be separated and is later recycled. Okay, so if we do this, we get to reduce pollution while using less manpower. What are you guys talking about? Oh, we're talking about this as well. That's a great idea. Let's do it. Yay! Yes! Let's do this.